एंटीबायोटिक प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अवर डेली प्रॅक्टिस बट इट हॅज टू बी रॅशनल एव्हिडन्स बेस्ड अँड जस्टिफाईड इनडिस्क्रिमिनेट यूज लीड्स टू रेझिस्टन्स ॲडवर्स इफेक्ट्स अँड ट्रीटमेंट फेल्युअर सो फ्रेंड्स इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू सी फायव डिफरंट वेज ऑफ प्रिस्क्राइबिंग अँटीबायोटिक्स अँड ऑल्सो अंडरस्टँड द सायंटिफिक रॅशनल बिहाइंड ईच वन ऑफ दॅम सो फ्रेंड्स टुडेज व्हिडिओ इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट यू सी दिस व्हिडिओ टील द एंड अँड इफ यू हॅव कम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन दिस चॅनल then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights so friends let's start the video so to understand the five different ways of prescribing antibiotics we have to go according to the stages of infection so here i have written different stages of infection and now i will explain to you how the different ways of prescribing antibiotics are there so the first type of antibiotic prescription is called as prophylaxis this comes before the infection comes in the body means there is no infection in the body but the conditions are such that there may be infection in the patient so here we use what is called as prophylaxis so it is used when for example this is a patient and this is the procedure that the patient is undergoing so sometimes the patient is a high risk patient and sometimes the procedure is high risk such that there can be infection so here we use prophylaxis for example if the procedure is of colorectal surgery so it is a high risk procedure and even if the patient is normal means he is not having any medical disease we use prophylaxis here and we give safe triazone plus metronidazole and sometimes the patient is a riskier patient and the procedure is easy for example if there is a patient having prosthetic heart valves and this patient is going for a dental extraction then what we do we here give a prophylaxis of a drug called as amoxicillin we give amoxicillin 2 grams orally about 1 hour before dental extraction so in this way in prophylaxis we anticipate that there can be an infection in a patient and we give antibiotics so this is our first way of antibiotic prescription that is prophylaxis now the second type of antibiotic prescription is called as preemptive therapy it comes between subclinical infection and symptoms means the infection has started in patient but it is in the subclinical stage and yet there are no symptoms so this type of therapy or this type of antibiotic prescription is generally seen in patients of organ transplant and in this case to detect subclinical infection the patient has to go certain investigation for example in case of cytomegalovirus infection this infection is common in organ transplant patient and if this infection occurs in this type of patient it can be deadly so here we do certain investigations and if we find by cmv pcr technique if it is positive means if we could see the dna of this virus in the blood then we start with a treatment of antiviral drug that is gancyclovir so in this way we detect the infection in its subclinical stage and start the treatment so this type of treatment or this type of uh, antibiotic prescription is called as preemptive therapy then the third type of treatment and which is very commonly used is empirical treatment here the infection has now set in and it has started showing symptoms but we have not yet yet isolated the exact pathogen for example like this if patient comes to you with uh, pneumonia and there are various bacteria like a b c d these could be the possible causes of pneumonia so you start with such uh, antibiotic 
or a combination of antibiotic that co will cover all these four. So this is a empirical treatment. For example, now this is the empirical treatment that we give in different type of infections. Now here you can see in community acquired pneumonia, the common pathogens are streptococcus pneumonia, hemophilus and atypical organisms like mycoplasma. So to cover all these organisms, we use this combination safe trixone plus azithromycin. And if there is a urinary tract infection, the most common pathogen is E. coli. And here we can use either of the two drugs that is nitrofurantine or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole. Uh, and in case of meningitis, the common organisms are again streptococcus pneumonia, Nigeria, meningitis. And here we use a drug combination that is safe trixone and vancomycin. So this type of therapy where we uh, look for the common pathogens which cause this infection and try to cover all of them with an antibiotic or a antibiotic combination. So this type of treatment is called as empirical therapy. Now you have isolated the pathogen and you know exactly which type of antibiotic will be effective. And then this type of treatment is called as definitive treatment. For example, this is an antibiotic sensitivity report of a urinary tract infection and the organism isolated is Klebsiella pneumoniae. Now, uh, in the table of empirical treatment, we have seen for urinary tract infection, the common pathogen is E. coli and we start with nitrofurantine or trimethoprim sulfomethoxazole. But after sensitivity report, for example, we get this report and the organism is not E. coli but Klebsiella pneumoniae. And if you would have uh, started patient with nitrofurantine, then nitrofurantine is intermediate sensitive here. So now you have to use the drug that is sensitive and with a maximum therapeutic index. So maximum therapeutic index is 8 and there are 3 such drugs. First is amikacin, then second is norfloxacin and third is ofloxacin. Amikacin cannot be given orally and it is given only IV. So if the patient is hospitalized, you can use amikacin. But if you are giving treatment through OPD, then you can use either norfloxacin or ofloxacin. So this type of antibiotic treatment where we isolate pathogen and start with the exact useful antibiotic, this type of treatment is called as definitive treatment. Now you have treated the infection. The infection is resolved but due to some reasons the infection is recurrent. So here you have to use something called as suppressive therapy. This type of therapy is commonly used in orthopedic patients where implants are used. Now this is a x-ray of an implant in the femur. Now if this implant gets infected, you first treat the infection with antibiotics, but sometimes what happens? such type of biofilm is formed on the implant and this biofilm is resistant to antibiotics and also resistant to immune system and sometimes this uh, biofilm creep keeps on breaking and these bacteria are then released into the body and they cause recurrent infection now the best treatment for this is that you have to remove this implant but sometimes due to some medical reasons this implant removal surgery is not possible and you have to keep this infection under control and here then you use what is called as suppressive therapy for example if this implant is infected by staphylococcus then you use a suppressive therapy with rifampicin plus doxycycline so this type of treatment where we suppress the infection is called as suppressive therapy. So friends, in this way, we have seen the five different ways of prescribing the antibiotics. As you can see here, the three I have written in green color and two are in red color. And this is to differentiate important thing is that the uh, type of antibiotic treatment that are written in green color, we use them commonly and those that are written in red color are used rarely and in certain specific conditions only. So I am sure that after seeing this video, 
when you will be prescribing antibiotic to your next patient you will know what is the exact logical or the scientific reason behind my prescription so friends if you find today's video helpful share with your batchmates and friends and if you have come for the first time on this channel then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights see you in the next video till then thank you